does everything still work? I can attest that it does. It works regularly, consistently. What else? Damn, okay. Efficiently. Well, efficiently sounds like short. <laughs> Nature finds a way. Yeah. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm coming up on my one year anniversary of being in remission for testicular cancer, which is crazy to even say out loud. Can't believe it's already been a year. I feel better than ever. I've noticed there's a lot of amazing content about life when you're going through treatment or when you get diagnosed, but there isn't a lot of content about life after cancer and what that looks like. So. I thought it'd be fun and maybe a little helpful to answer some questions and show you what my life looks like now. So I'm currently in what they refer to as active surveillance. So I go in every three to four months for blood work, CT scans to make sure everything looks good. And once I pass that two year checkpoint, the checkups will get less and less frequent. So I brought Mikey in to help answer some questions because as many of you know, he was my caretaker when I went through this entire journey. But thankfully we're on the other side of it and healthy and happy to answer some questions. Sure are. Does everything still work? I can attest that it does. Boom. There you go. I do have to say, it is amazing what the human body can do, like its ability to heal and just oh, yeah. figure things out. Because like on paper, if you like remove certain body parts, I'm like, well, like, how is it still running? But it's nature finds a way. Science. We... Thank you, science. How do you feel physically and are there any residual side effects? I feel healthier than ever. How do you feel? Good. I mean, obviously the only thing I can talk about or attest to is the mental emotional stuff of being a caretaker. I don't think it really hit until much later. So this started September 2020 through like what? Like May, June of 2021. Yeah. And it was like a very tough time. We were like very isolated because Toronto was locked down. And so it was kind of like going into like, you know, survival mode. And every day was just about getting through that day, yeah. trying to take care of you, making sure you like you've you know, at least smiled once that day and taking me to the hospital. So for myself, I don't think it really registered until like literally a year later. I think my brain finally started to process it all. Mm -hmm. You would think like, oh, we got through the worst of it. And especially last June, once they said you were cancer free, you would think like, oh, that's it. But I feel like it wasn't until after that, a few months after that, that all of a sudden it was like, oh, wow, we've had quite a year. Like the past 12 months have felt like a decade, you know? Anyway, but that was last fall and yeah. now I feel great. great. I mean, we're living our best lives. Living the dream. In terms of physical side effects, I still have a bit of skin discoloration, nothing. I do have a bit of ringing in my ears, but I only experience it when I'm really tired or drinking alcohol. But otherwise we're doing great. And the discoloration on your back is like gone almost. Progress. We're almost back to normal. Hey everyone. How's it going? We're coming up on my one year anniversary of being in remission for testicular cancer. Woohoo! Pretty cancer excited free. about it. And we're here to talk about our favorite thing ever. Balls. In honor of the special occasion, we partnered up with Manscaped and the Testicular Cancer Society to help raise awareness and a little bit of money for a good cause. So they created this special edition lawnmower and they're donating $50,000 to the Testicular Cancer Society. I had, I think like their original one and it's like the only trimmer you can like use on your private parts and it like won't nick or anything. It's, it's literally heaven. Testicular cancer is super preventable when it's caught early enough. So self checks and self exams are super important. Do them every couple weeks, once a month in the shower. It's better to be safe than sorry. Prevention is key, prevention is sexy. Testicular cancer is the number one leading cancer in men ages 15 to 35. So your balls will thank you. They will. So head over to manscaped.com and as usual, if you have any questions about my journey or our journey, let me know in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Check those balls. <laughs> Are you scared? Uh, yeah. Honestly, sometimes, I mean, I'm human. There are definitely times where I start thinking about cancer and obviously the residual side effects and long-term effects of chemo. I try not to think about it too much because there's scary stuff out there written about it. But if this experience has taught me anything, it's just to focus on the things you can control, which is try to be as healthy as possible, enjoy every day. I don't want to spend the rest of my days just worrying about what may or may not occur in the future. I, I definitely get anxious, especially when the checkups are approaching or on the day of the checkup, but yeah, you know, it helps it helps having a partner. And there are some amazing support groups out there, even for LGBT folk. 
So there are plenty of resources available. There's even, it's almost like an online dating service for November, it's called Nuts and Bolts. And they actually match you and partner you up with like a fight. You know, the doctors are great. That's awesome. They're amazing, but they haven't necessarily gone through that specific surgery with their own body. I always find like the numbers reassuring and that's like what I would hold on to, you know, and they would they would say like, you know, like if you get through it, like there's a 95% success rate that like you're fine and it shouldn't come back, you know, which is like a very good number. I'll speak for myself, but I'd be lying if I was said I wasn't scared. Just in general, I think I just never like thought about stuff like this before you know i look pretty fearlessly and i still do but I, I just like really never like thought about mortality you know or like and this really did teach us like all those cliches about life being short is really true you know what is wild there are days where i'm feeling great just like living the dream and my iphone will do that like memories thing and photos and it'll be yeah. like here's a photo of you going through the most traumatic week of your life and i was just like you know, could turn those off i should you know those will definitely put things into perspective and be like, oh yeah, whatever I was stressing over today is like not that big of a deal. If I have to like pull the positive out of this situation, I'm grateful for the fact that it did change my life and I don't take a day or second for granted anymore. I think it's created some problems personally in my head because I'm like constantly like, must do more, must do more, do life is short. But I am grateful that I feel like I, my perspective shifted drastically and I think it will remain that way for the rest of my life. Thanks for being my caretaker. You're welcome. You were very easy because you were just sick and slept all the time. <laughs> so I just like ran to the store and kept everything replenished and made sure you had your medicines. And my favorite sat and oh my god. Carried you to the car in the mornings for the hospitals. In negative 30 degree weather, but yeah. So thanks for watching and I guess we should throw like a one year permission anniversary party. Is that a thing? You know, like every it should be everything we're celebrating that, but absolutely. I, mean, I basically just want to throw a party. Like there can be, it can just be for us. I'm always down for. And a party. you're invited as well, obviously. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back with hopefully like a lighter, more uplifting video pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah.